In the first example, we have 8 over 10. This obviously has a denominator of 10. And we're going to convert this by using a place value table. And we know that to convert 8 over 10 into a decimal, we need to first have a look at if there are any whole numbers. In this case, 8 over 10 has no whole numbers. This means for the units column, we can just put a zero. And then we can move on to the numbers after the decimal point. So we have 8 over 10, and we know that 8 over 10 means that the 8 is in the tenths column. And therefore, the answer to this question is 0 0.8. So now let's have a look at the next example, which is 3 over 5. So in this case, the fraction does not have a denominator of 10, 100, or 1,000. So what do we do in this case when the fraction has a denominator that is not 10, 100, or 1,000? Well, in this case, we have to make an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 10. So we need to make a new equivalent fraction with a denominator of 10. So now, the denominator we have in this fraction is 5. To change this 5 into a 10, we have to multiply by 2. Because we all know that 5 times 2 gives us an answer of 10. And the next thing we have to remember is that whatever you do to the denominator, you do to the numerator. So this means you multiply the 3 also by 2. And 3 times 2 will give you 6. And we get 6 over 10 as the new equivalent fraction with a denominator of 10. Now we have to change 6 over 10 into a decimal. To do this, we need to first see if there are any whole numbers. 6 over 10 has no whole numbers. So that means we can write a 0 for the units column. And then for the numbers after the decimal point, we have 6 tenths, and that means the 6 is in the tenths column, and we can write the 6 after the decimal point. So you get an answer of 0 0.6. Now, let's have a look at converting these fractions into a decimal as well. And the examples we have this time are 85 over 100 and 17 over 25. So let's start with this example first. So we know that any fraction that has a denominator of 10, 100, or 1,000 is easy to convert into a decimal. So in this case, we have 85 over 100. First thing we have to look at, does this fraction have any whole numbers? No, it does not. So therefore, write a zero in the units column. And then we have 85 over 100. So some of you may wonder, do we need to write the 85 in the 100s column like this? Well, you do not write it like this. Instead, you write it like 8 and 5. So you write the 8 in the tenths column and you write the 5 in the hundreds column. So now this means the answer will be 0 0.85. Now let's move to the next example. And this example is 17 over 25. In this case, we have to make a new equivalent fraction with the denominator of 100. To change 25 into 100, we obviously have to multiply the 25 by 4 because 25 times 4 gives you 100. So now, whatever you do to the denominator, you do to the numerator. So if you multiply the denominator by 4, you also multiply the numerator also by 4. And we know that 17 times 4 is obviously 68. So we get 68 over 100. And we know 68 over 100, 0 0.68. Now, let's have a look at converting these fractions into a decimal. And the examples we have are 250 over 1,000 and 14 over 200. So firstly, we do not have any whole number in 215 over 1,000. Therefore, we need to write a zero in the units column. And then we have 215 over 1,000. So this means we need to write the 215 after the decimal point. So once again, you do not write 215 in the thousands column. This means you would write the 2 in the tenths, the 1 in the 100s, and the 5 in the 1000s. And that means we get an answer of 0 0.215. Now, let's move on to the next example, which is 14 over 200. In this case, we have to make a new equivalent fraction with the denominator of 1000, because we have to think bigger in this case. We cannot change it to a 10 or a 100. We have to change it to a 1000. To change 200 into 1,000, you have to multiply 
200 by 5 because we know 200 times 5 will give you 1000 and whatever you do to the bottom you do to the top in other words whatever you do to the denominator you do to the numerator so you do 14 times 5 and 14 times 5 gives you an answer of 70 so therefore we get 70 over 1000 as the equivalent fraction now we have to change this into a decimal and as we all know 70 over 1000 will give you 0 0.07 as your answer and if you write it down in a place value table you'll get an answer of 0 0.07